During the American colonial era, women remained legally dependent on men and were not allowed under the law to fully participate in political life. Women were typically not allowed to vote in the colonies or hold political office. Colonial laws limited women's right to own property and to manage their own legal and personal affairs. Laws varied among the colonies, but married women usually had the legal status of underage children. They lost most of their legal identity to their husbands under a legal doctrine called coverture. According to English law, husband and wife are one person. The very being or legal existence of the woman is suspended during the marriage. These policies were mostly continued after independence in 1776 and the American victory in the Revolutionary War, despite the appeal by the former colonists to natural rights philosophy to justify their cause. However, natural rights philosophy and its commitment to human equality would ultimately be used successfully by women to justify their demands for voting rights and for equal treatment under the law. This has been 60 Second Civics, a podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. Mark Gage.